Welcome. This is the Private Financier's Macro-Enabled Spreadsheet. My name is Jeffrey Smith. This Excel 2007 Macro-Enabled Spreadsheet is designed to hold the information for private financiers in the form of a database. The database is a very flat and simple data filter database. On this Private Financier's page you can see that it is set up for data filtering so that you can easily select the private financiers that match certain criteria. For example, let's say that you're looking for a private financier for multifamily apartments and you're looking for the private financier that will invest equity into the project. In this situation we've selected exactly one private financier that invests in multifamily apartments with equity. The financier input page is for specifying the private financier criteria. Some of the input fields are drop-down lists. For example, let's say we want to add a private financier Freddie Frankel and he invests in multifamily apartments and the type of investment is equity he requires properties to have at least 20 units, no maximum, and let's remove the beds, baths, and parking as that doesn't matter to this particular private financier. Now the range of investment is a minimum of $25,000, no maximum, and the term max, he wants to be in the deal for no longer than 60 months. Put in an email address, just make one up. Now when you click the Add button, this data will be copied to the private financiers. As we can see here on row 3 it was added in sorted order. Now on this private financier sheet you can go up to the data filters and filter for the type of investment that you have. Multifamily apartment and you're looking for equity investors and now we have two entries. You can continue selecting on criteria all the way across but in this example we won't bother with that. Let's go back to the financier input and let's build the output sheet. This is the mail merge data source. This now has the selected rows. This is in a mail merge format with the first row as the column headers and then each of the data rows that matched your criteria. Now if you save this spreadsheet you can then use it as data source from Microsoft Word to do a mail merge and generate mail merge letters to these selected private financiers for your deal. Let's say that you have a private financier, in this case single family detached. He purchased properties on a wholesale basis. He's a wholesale buyer. Go back to financier input and you can fill in the data cells from that selected row. Then you can modify it. 
let's say that he provides hard money financing for commercial property and the lowest value is 500,000 let's say there's no upper limit his investment to value max is 50 percent he will allow combined investment to value maximum up to 70 percent and he wants at least a yield of 13 percent and he wants let's say four percent points rolled in let's add that to the database and now we see that he's been added in as a hard money private financier for commercial property now over here we can see that the other parameters for his financing are already laid out minimum range low is 500,000 there's no upper range ITV max 50 percent combined ITV max 70 percent minimum yield is 13 percent and points are four percent and let's say that you now want to get rid of a row all you do is right click on the row number select delete and the row is gone this is a very simple straightforward easy to use data filter database in Microsoft Excel 2007 It has a simple help page to remind you of how to use it. The mail merge header page is where you put in your specific contact information. And the main control page is financier input. This has been video tutorial for private financiers spreadsheet. My name is Jeffrey Smith and thank you for your support.